So what is too big? Well, apparently these people are the biggest I've ever seen. Hey guys, what's up? It's IO2. My name is Dave Waffle, and let's get real. So the last video I asked you guys, what is your favorite flag? And this is what you guys wrote, but for this video I want to know, how much do you weigh? So today we're talking about the world's largest people. This guy's a familiar one for me, his name is Michael Harbanko. Now compared to the other ones that are going to be following, this one's going to be a little bit different. Now the other ones are heavyweights, while well, Michael weighed 1,100 pounds. Now he's born in 1953, and the reason I'm picking him is he managed to get his weight down to 198 pounds. And out of everybody in this category, he's lost the most weight. Now unfortunately he died in 2013, but he's definitely setting the example. If you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. Now let's move on to another big boy. Walter Edson was born in 1944. He's from Brooklyn. His heaviest weight record was 1,197 pounds. But what makes him different from everyone else is he had the largest waistline. His waistline was approximately 119 inches wide. Oh yeah. Now he managed to lose 720 pounds before he passed away in 1991. But now let's change it up a bit. We're going to talk about Carol Yeager, who is the world's biggest woman to ever exist. Now she was born in 1960 somewhere in America, there's no real reports of where she actually was born, but she weighed 1,603 pounds and to this day she is still the number one largest female. However, she passed away in 1994 after having 13 trips to the hospital where firefighters had to assist. Now yeah, they all say Americans are big, they eat so much that they are the biggest people on the planet, but this guy might defy. This Saudi Arabian gentleman by the name of Khalid bin Mohsin Shari, he was born in 1991. Now he weighed 1,345 pounds until the king of Saudi Arabia was like, wait a minute, send him to the capital for some serious treatment. To get him out of his apartment, they had to use a forklift and transport him to the capital. To this day, Khalid is alive and well after losing 700 pounds. But now we're going to move on to number one, the biggest, baddest mofo on the planet. No, I'm not talking about John Goodman. I'm talking about John Brower Minock. He was born in the US in 1941. And at his peak in 1979, he weighed approximately 1,400 pounds. Now, most of his weight was attributed to water retention from an effect known as edema. John struggled daily with with exercise and dieting, but eventually brought his weight down to 796 pounds. Kind of the moral of all this is if you're unhappy with your weight, yes, you can diet and get all that fat off of you. But thanks for watching, guys. That's our top five here at IO2. And I'm Dave Waffle, and yeah, stay attractive. Yeah.